Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you on this Mwah. brisk of a day? It's a beautiful day, matter of it fact. It really is. A I really had a very day. early morning. Did you? I was on the phone with this farmer, Mr. Scott Zare. He was driving in. He took four hours to drive in. Maplewood really? Sweets. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. He shows ready up in go. this hey, Ready to go. Gorgeous ready to go. Look at, him. Look at him. His <laughs> truck is royal blue. Royal blue truck. It's sitting in the driveway. We're going to take some pictures of it. Okay. Yeah. And he comes with this, my favorite thing, a hat. <laughs> Cowboy hat. I like Guess that. I like what? that. Justin does not know this, but Justin, do you know that's a Justin hat, which is a designer right. <laughs> cowboy hat. Okay? Yeah. So what kind of karma is that, Justin? That's it. It's meant to be, right? Yeah. And we have a guest, Marsha. She's going to join us, too. Come on down, Marsha. She's a Breakfast Club member since the day, the first day we started, 16 years ago. So she's like the Royal Queen of member because <laughs> she was around from the first day when we met and she was crying her eyes out because she lost the job. And that's really how we started 16 years ago. Now we're huge. Yeah. But this is Scott. Nice, to meet, you, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And she's going to be doing the tastings with us with some other guests we have today in the audience. Yeah. And we're happy to have you. Well, I'm, I'm, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thanks for having me down. And I love the hat. I just love <laughs> Even your beard. Even your beard is so... And she's not a beard person. No, uh, but yeah. it's nicely beard, so. trimmed. It's very really, nice. Really? Because I, I thought I needed to trim, but I, I ran out of time. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had a busy couple of weeks, and I, I I was driving down last night, and I said, man, I didn't, I didn't uh, I'll trim at the hotel. And I got to the hotel, and I, I opened up my travel case, and I forgot my trimmer. I said, well, this is what they get. So you you <laughs> did come in last night? Uh, I, I drove to Scranton last night. Oh, so um, you stayed in PA. And stayed in PA, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, we, we, got, uh, we got in about three, and then got down here, and I left around seven. That's so great. It was good. Well, Greg, how do you like this yeah, guest? Yeah, I, I got to tell you. Now, listen, I, I, it, it definitely was a, a shock when you told me uh, <laughs> who was coming. And listen, like I said to you before, I never know who comes on. Yeah. She does all her homework and, and, and background check and so forth. And uh, and when I did, when I pulled up, I saw with the cowboy hat. And she mentioned some guys coming in. And not that I ever listened to her, because I really don't. So and, and, and so she mentioned something about syrup. And I was like, all right, syrup. And um, when I saw that Justin hat, first of all, I love cowboy boots, which I saw that he had a pair of ostrich pair of boots yeah. on. I said, uh -huh. those are ostrich? He goes, yep. yep. And I was just in Tennessee. And I love Tennessee. I, I have yet to be there. I gotta, I gotta get there. You didn't go there yet? No, I haven't been to Tennessee. And I even bought another pair of boots. Not that I wear all these boots, but I have like four pairs of boots. I have a pair of ostrich, uh, python, alligator, and wait, wait, there's another something else I just forgot uh, in Austria I mentioned Austria but then yeah. I just got a pair of black leather square tips yeah. I never had the square tips I love the square tips yeah oh, and God. that's like the biggest thing out there yeah and I did not tips. know this okay because yeah. I, I knew he went to Tennessee but I really don't know what he does when he goes away so <laughs> there you go he bought all these boots and you have the same boots yeah that's was, karma yeah, yeah. The, so my favorite I bought a pair in Mexico I think we're on our honeymoon um and shark skins, and they were okay, see that I don't have. most comfortable. I love them. You see, but I wasn't used to putting on, and they say to you that they're supposed to be almost like slippers, like you just put yes. them in. So I wasn't used to my heel kind of moving a little bit. Yep. You know, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be nice and snug, yep. but that's how you really wear them. It's just, and you get used to it, and it forms your feet and yep. so forth. And I really, really like them. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed wow. going down, and in, in, uh, there was a place, uh, Broadway, where all the bars are, all it's 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 a madhouse. Yeah. It was just a, 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 a big world. experience, and I don't know what it is, but white is like a big color for boots. I mean, they have a lot of, from what I understand, bachelorette parties. Okay, but I didn't see any of those like Chippendale yeah. male stripping thing where you're thinking bachelorette parties that are really. <laughs> oh wow! You know, you think because the women <laughs> go to yeah. Vegas, well, no, because when like they go to the Vegas, yes. they go. But then they all had these white boots on with the white hat. That must have been like the for color. Men, yeah. No, 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 for oh, women. Women, for women. Yeah. Just women, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, so every place, Jason, I mean, everybody had Kid Rock. Everybody had a place, yeah. and everybody had a theme. And it was like three or four stories high, and me. I'm going up the stairs like <laughs> in every building, right? Not realizing the guy was like, listen, I'm the last one, the last building. Um, I think it was the Kid Rock one. And he goes, my friend, meanwhile, I'm on the top floor. And he goes, you could have used the elevator because you didn't see the elevator. The elevator is like so far back in, in every building. 
So, but uh, no, I had a great time. I yeah. really did. I, I, it, was, it was the food was great. Yeah, I've, I've, that's on our bucket list for sure. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's talk about your product. First of all, you brought us this beautiful jar of, of syrup. Yep. Which is called the uh, Maplewood Sweets. Yeah, so that's our original. Yeah, right? that's our pure maple syrup. Look at um, this, guys. Such a nice, pretty jar. nice bottle. And I like uh, it. yeah, so the the twelve ounce bottle um, is what we have here today, and and we have some others on display over at the other table. But uh, you know, that's kind of like your practical, uh, you know, stick in the fridge kind of thing. Yeah. Um, anybody can afford it. And does it uh, come in larger bottles too? It it does. So we have everything from I think there's a one point seven ounce travel nip. I call it. Oh, that's nice. So uh, no, the very little small round one. Um, that's also a 1.7. There's the nip. Yep. And uh, so I call that a travel nip because I am the type of guy that if I'm traveling someplace, even if I'm traveling to Mexico, we have to take our own syrup. Do you really? Yeah, what, yeah. It's like a Tabasco you know. sauce. Everybody's got. I showed you everybody had. There's yeah, even holsters. Yeah. That they yeah. have a Tabasco sauce. We want to. I want a sales trip to Cancun for a company I used to work for. So my wife and I get down there and we're having breakfast one morning and one of my colleagues walks by and he's like, did you bring your own maple syrup from New York? <laughs> I said, yeah, I did. <laughs> What's wrong with that? He goes, I, I didn't know there was such a thing as a maple syrup snob. Oh. <laughs> like, well, okay. Why don't you have breakfast with us tomorrow and you tell me? So he did. And uh, he was from Colorado and uh, he, he, had sir he had breakfast with us. He had some maple syrup, him and his wife, and uh, they then probably we started bought it, shipping right? syrup to exactly. him every year after that. Yeah, so. This is delicious. So you could go on the road to restaurants everywhere and do this little gig saying, you know, my own, we're going to tour it and yeah. get a sale. Well, speaking of cowboy boots, so my goal is, is my wife knows this, God bless her heart, um, is to sell enough maple syrup to get myself a pair of Lucases. So. Oh. <laughs> okay, we did. Wow, sorry. Yeah, Whoa. we got a long ways to go. <laughs> oh, oh, that's no joke. Well, we all have bucket lists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a hell of a bucket list. Yeah. Well, I tell you. Jeez, oh. that's unbelievable. Well, you got your hat, the Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These uh, the old standbys. That, um, I went to auctioneer school after high school, and uh, and well, I uh, could tell you have just, a good uh, voice. Yeah. yeah you know, I gotta ask. Fits. Everybody has a reason why they get into things. Yeah. Whether it's people like bees, they get into honey. Oh, whatever, honey into bees. Yeah. Maple syrup out of everything in this world. If you don't mind, if you don't mind me asking, is this what you? Is this a family thing, or is it just something? you just came up with that you just wanted to experience? No, um, so growing up, I grew up on a small uh, dairy farm in a little town up there called Lowville, New York. Um, and my father has been on that farm since 1978. And he's made syrup there um, since then. Um, so for years, my father, my uncle, um, all us kids, we would, uh, we would tap about 1,500 trees, we'd make uh, Two, three hundred gallons of maple syrup, Amazing. and it was something for us to do in the springtime in that fun. February, March, April time frame when there's no crops to plant, there's no field work to do, and there's just need something to do. And so, um, about five or six years ago, um, ten years ago, my father and I kind of started doing it on our own. My uncle and his son started doing their own thing, and. Um, as time moves on, uh, equipment needed updating, um, our boiling facility needed updating, and um, my cousin and I said, hey, let's do this. So we, um, we bootstrapped the whole thing um, pretty well uh, with, uh, without a lot of assistance, and um, we brought in a third business partner this year. Um, so we went from producing about three to 500 gallons a year of maple syrup and um, this year, as of last night, when I finished boiling, we're about 2,300 gallons. Congrats. Um, so oh we're, yeah, we've expanded the business a little bit to support all three partners. That's um, pretty good. And uh, when I say all three partners, it's really, it's all three families. Oh, um, that's nice. My two kids, I have a daughter, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. I Hi, Brooke. Brooke. Give me a shout out, Brooke. Brooke. She's gorgeous. Um, she's uh, she's going to be four in June. My son, oh. Cooper, is going to be a year old in a couple weeks. Uh, my cousin Aaron has uh, two young children and a third on the way, and my my buddy Charlie, that's a partner, has a, a four year old daughter and uh, a couple other kids. So, yeah, I mean, and we all just kind of work together at it with some part time help. I have a vision. I vision that we have a big 
cowboy event. And you guys <laughs> come. You could go. be the speaker because you're so good at auctioning. We could raise some money for some charity. And we could all dress in cowboy gear. Uh, well, you know, I, I would I would do that. Uh, <laughs> you know, anything anything to support the local communities. Um, you know, we. I know, Valentina, you've noticed I cook chicken. Yes, and, and also you have that truck full of eggs and milk and all that. What's that about? We, eggs and milk. Well, I saw it's the, wrong the, truck. the video where you were saying, oh, <laughs> we're going to it. pick up Look, the, the, the eggs, the milk. That was another the stalker. Truck. That's a different stalker you were stalking. Wait, you, I don't know. I don't remember this. You see, there we go. You see what I'm talking about? These are things that you don't even know about. Okay? Things oh, that you yeah. don't even know about. There we go. I, I saw the truck and you were talking and you. I thought you were talking about eggs and milk. You were picking up milk or eggs, and there was a long line. <laughs> that wasn't you. No, I was selling yeah. chicken. Oh, it was chicken. Yeah, yeah right. we, were, we were doing yeah. a fundraiser. I must have been drinking that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, we were doing a fundraiser and for a local community up there in Krogan. Uh, there's an organization called Caring Friends. Okay, and their that's whole thing what it is. is we do random acts of kindness. So oh, nice. there's oh. a group of folks, and uh, so I was blessed by these folks. At one point, I had tore my meniscus in my knee. I was out of work. Traveling to doctor's appointments on workman's comp, so half you know half the pay, and in the mail shows up uh, a, a nice card, a get well soon, thinking of you card with um, I I want to say like a hundred dollars in gas cards, oh, really? little How stuff nice. like that, yes. and um, so I've gotten involved with these guys um, over the last few years doing some fundraising events. So um, Thursday last week I cooked them uh, three hundred uh, chicken halves. Whoa. And they no four hundred, um, and we upped it from last year. Last year we did three hundred. This year we did four hundred. We should have done like six hundred. You ran out. We had to turn people away. Oh. And yeah. and then to tell you about the community up there, I'm walking down this road. The line is almost a mile long of people waiting to get chicken, oh. and I'm the bearer of bad news at this point, saying, oh, "Hey, we're out of chicken." Serious? People are handing me money, saying, "Hey, just give it, give it to the you know really? donate it anyway." So they oh. waited in line for an hour, get How turned nice away, that? and said, hey, here, here's some money, give it to the cause. Hey, that's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Well, we commend you for what you're doing and say, we'll, we'll do the chicken thing if you want, whatever you want. You yeah, know? I but can if you want to come down thing. here. Yeah. But yeah. the fact that you drove five hours, you yeah, are really... the first client that drove that long. <laughs> Other people take planes, but you drove. So you are. A real client. You get a gold like, star. You get a gold <laughs> get star. Gold you star. get that right. gold Absolutely. star. Yeah. You Absolutely. get a gold star. Uh, just put crazy next to That's my picture. Right. That's right. Well, crazy, yeah. we love is crazy here. <laughs> now, crazy the, kids are, the kids are involved with this also? I mean, um, I mean, to the extent, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, they're all young. Um, so, you know, Brooke, uh, Brooke, there's a there's a good video. Brooke, he's on. talking a lot about Brooke. Brooke, Brooke. <laughs> he loves little. all. He loves everybody. Yeah. But Brooke, Brooke, Brooke's my. She's she's my firstborn. My little girl. See, she's, I say that. Listen, yeah, you love all your kids. Green eyes, I can't you know, help people it. people always say, look. I have four kids, and they turn around and they go, "Who's your favorite?" Well, you know what it is. It's not that one is a favorite. It's yeah. just that you get along with each one differently. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't make. Because my firstborn was my yeah. daughter, and yeah. and she's my favorite. She's my firstborn. It's a different experience than my second, third, or fourth. But they're all my favorite. Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, and and yet, meanwhile, the kids will turn out and say, "No, no, no, I'm daddy's favorite." Or, I'm, you know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. But um, it's just and, yeah. it is true because how is. you just get along with one so much. Yeah. And you know, and, you know hey, differently. Cooper, Cooper's not quite a year old, but he helps in his own uh, way, yeah. right? He gets in the he gets in the walker. <laughs> he, he runs around the facility, the boiling facility, and if he can find his fingers in some maple syrup, and he sits oh, there. Does he really? God, what a messy <laughs> mistake! I am sure. Uh, there's a great video on our Facebook page, Maplewood Sweets Facebook page, um, of Brooke helping me tap a tree. Oh. She wanted to use oh, the I hammer. Wish had that. Daddy's oh. holding the spout. She actually didn't hit my finger. But she's she's tapping the hammer and I, I back my hands away. Ow! Really? And she's just giggling. She thinks it's so oh, funny. Well, you can have them send it to me and I'll put it on the yeah. follow up. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah, put, we'll put it on the follow up when we yeah. do the posting. So um, this young lady here, she's probably very interested in tasting it, aren't you? Yep. We're all going to do a little. She sat here the whole time just eating. She's like <laughs> just kept eating and eating and eating. So Fantastic. I'm going to taste it. Are you going to yes, taste definitely, it? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Very good. And then we have some audience members that are going to taste it. So, and uh, we're going to take a little shot of them doing that. Excuse me. Mmm. Very good. Mm, this is very delicious. good. Delicious. So now I got to start carrying this. Yeah. So it's, it's easy uh, enough to put in your pocket. Hopefully, <laughs> it is. It is. If, if you guys know somebody with some empty bourbon barrels, 
Right. I would like to get a couple that I can fill with maple syrup and it ages for a year. Oh. And uh, oh, really? Yeah. So then you get some bourbon flavored maple syrup. Um, I'm told there is nothing better than maple old fashions. If you're an old fashioned kind of guy or gal, um, yeah, maple old fashions. Really? Yeah. Is that a drink? Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, yeah. drink. You yeah, probably yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I was in an old fashioned, but yeah, I'm not an old fashioned guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, this is listen. <laughs> she's a Cosmo <laughs> person, and two of those, she's mighty <laughs> feeling fine. <laughs> so do me a favor, send me what you're looking for. I'll post it yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Right. put it in a nice little ad. But you got, now you got to tell me what's the process in this, if you don't mind me asking. It. Oh, uh, no, that's that's a great question because it 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 starts it starts out in the woodlots, and the, we have natural woodlot stands that we go to, um, and it's it's probably hard to visualize, but. If you would imagine a series of, of uh, plastic lines running through a woods, and what their purpose is, we we uh, we we tap a hole in the tree. The tree flows sap whenever it's above freezing. Wait, wait. a maple tree. Maple tree. Only maple trees. Big, 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 big maple. But they're, yeah. They're, 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 yeah. So you tap a hole in the center of it, or, uh, you, or like anywhere, roughly? anywhere on the side, a small hole about five sixteenths of an inch. That's right. what we use. And uh, from that, the whenever the temperature is above freezing, the sap will flow out of the tree. Um, and we collect it all in those lines to one spot. We get we take it back to our boiling facility uh, where there's there's a few different steps. The biggest one is is the one that uh, is the boiling process. You'll Wait, actually... I have to cut you off. Okay. <laughs> from that, because I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, yeah. So say a tree is down the block. Yeah. You run a line all the way down the block to what? I'm just for an example. You you, bring, you let this run into what? Like another barrel? Like yeah, into a barrel. A, like tank. a barrel. Yep. Okay. Yep. Depending on um, so like the one woods we have is there's three thousand trees here, and in, uh, in this one uh, twenty acre forest. Okay. And uh, all those trees are tapped and they come into one tank that's like three thousand gallons, and then we just show up with a truck and and pick it up and it's it. Yeah. And how long does it does it take for it to fill up that three thousand? Just say. Um, it, it, during normal. Uh, so you leave it there for almost like a year or or whatever it is. I'm oh no, the, the entire That's maple sort of, syrup season yes. is like six weeks. We we started drilling holes in mid February, Valentine's right. Day week, and we're almost done probably this next week. Jeez. Oh my god! Interesting. And so it's very intense, short period of time, mm -hmm. six to eight weeks. Now why at that time? Uh, so that's when, so the maple trees, once they lose their leaves, at any point at that point, you could tap them as long as it's freezing at night, thawing in the day. Freezing at night, thawing in the day. Yeah. So yeah. you can't tap it in the summertime at all when you, where it drips? Where it's, you, it's not going to flow. Really? Yeah. Yep. That's amazing. Sounds like wine. I mean, different than wine, but sounds... A lot different, but... Very short yeah. season, yeah. yeah. Short yeah. season, yeah. short season, yeah. Very weather dependent. Very interesting. Um, Very you know, any, any agriculture, it's, it's weather dependent. So, how many guys do this for you? You have a, a lot of big staff, or is it just um, so the there's uh, the three partners, um, and then we have I, I think there's about six part time employees that help us throughout the the, the season, mm -hmm. um, and then family members. I mean, my wife will bottle syrup, and she does the Facebook. Oh, she's and, one of those good wives that and, really uh, helps. helps and, yeah, so man, we get huh? a lot of help from a lot of people, and yeah. That's great. Yeah. Your busiest season is there. It's always all year long, right? Because Holidays, more gifts people pay, buy. Yeah, that is true. But I mean, right now is really the we're doing we're doing some chicken barbecues. We we have the maple syrup production year going on right now. I have my real job that I still do. So, Which is? Um, I work for a company called Agrarian, and we we uh, we sell and manufacture um, probiotics for livestock, cattle. Oh, for the uh, animals. For for cattle, uh, swine, and poultry. Really? Yep. Jeez, you're a busy guy. I try to stay busy. Yeah. Ooh. You got to so take care of those kids. Tell, tell us about these little things you gave us. <laughs> oh, the maple candies. Yeah. So what are they like? You just suck on them or what? <laughs> yeah. You, you, you can you can suck on them, chew on them, whatever you want to do. All right. I know. I'm, All right, we got kids I'm just watching. moving on. Dad, can you see this? Is what I'm talking about. It's candy. Hey, you got to be fun, it. right? Just, just, you got to have fun. Yeah, Am I it. right? You got to have fun. Yeah, this yeah. guy's fun. Oh, I can tell. Oh, I yeah, you got to have fun. I had a few conversations with uh, him already. I'm afraid to ask what you guys <laughs> okay. So, so uh, at Maple Wood Sweets, um, you'll notice on our label it says Simply Pure Maple. And that's really kind of what my whole vision for the business is, is 
is offering pure products. Um, mm. You know, you can go onto a grocery store shelf, you can find maple syrup, and wow, sometimes you're gonna good. find it that says 50-50, uh, and it's a combination of corn syrup and maple syrup. Um, this is, there's Very nothing good. in this other than sap from a tree that we've just removed. No preservative, none of this, all nothing. that stuff that really. Nothing. And uh, so the maple cream, are, are you guys familiar with creamed honey? No. No. Okay, well, yeah, the maple cream, that jar right there. That is nothing more than maple syrup that I've now boiled to like 236 degrees and whipped. And it spreads on your bagels or cream uh, wow. bagels Let's or see toast. That. that I'm definitely, I definitely want to try um, that. Mix it in with vanilla ice cream, mm. especially Whoa. soft serve. You are maple cream, guys. Yeah. Look at this. And so then the candies that Valentina just tried. I'm eating them still. Yeah. Mm. There you are. Uh, <laughs> that was good. That, that's a pure like maple cheese. candy. Like, <laughs> like cheese. Cheese. It's cheese. Like, like what a cheese. Like, not okay. cheese, but what cheese tastes like going down. Oh, that's, a, that's okay. interesting. Okay. Texture wise. I don't yeah. know what that meant, but. <laughs> Try it, guys. It tastes yeah. a little bit it like It actually cheese. does pair well with cheese. There you go. It pairs yeah. well with cheese. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Some 10 year old cheddar. She hasn't slept last night at all, from what I understand. Yeah. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> the, the, the bite of the 10 year old cheddar with the maple candy. I think it would go good with cheese. Yeah. Before we uh, continue, you got to give um, today's American uh, Circus Day. <laughs> I'm joining the circus. <laughs> the first one, that's it. Okay. See, the jokes write we, themselves. We, we, yeah, Farm the and Belly, we got one for you here. Okay. The lady on the trapeze. We, uh, yeah, I'm telling you. And, fan, and it's uh, Fan Dance Day, and it's National Chocolate Moose Day, ah. and Weed Out Hate Day. Yeah, which we want to and eat that's out. That's it, that's for sure. And then, got, and then we just got to give a, a quick shout out to Jenny A, Jenny C, Stacy, Eliza, Marilyn, Mario, Melissa, love you to death. Grandma, I told you I'm going to be there soon to rub those legs out. She's 94 years old and she likes me to massage her legs. It's it's Grandma. Yeah, right? absolutely. <laughs> Annabelle, giving you a big shout out. Mickey, congratulations, retired. I think he was over... 25 years, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Annabelle, I don't know how you're going to do it, but, you know, I think he's a great guy. And, and now, finally, they'll, they'll be able to spend their remaining amount of years together playing, what is that, the pickleball? He's going to play pickleball. I know I have to try to mind that. Kathy, giving a big shout-out. Calvin, uh, Calvin, giving a big shout-out, too. <laughs> and I know I missed a couple other people, but, and then the birthday is is uh, Todd. Isn't Todd's birthday? Todd, your husband. Todd. Yeah, he's happy Todd, birthday, birthday. Todd. Happy birthday, Todd. He was on his way here. He got a flat. He got a flat tire. Did so he? That's why he's not here today. He's yeah. driving four hours away, too? <laughs> okay, just checking. <laughs> Only 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes? Well, he's waiting Something for AAA. Something's right. taking the hours. So tell me, what do you do, honey? Something you got to tell me that. Oh, I'm a, I'm, just... a, I'm a real estate broker. Oh, okay. So. Okay. And she yeah. sells lots of places. I sell a lot of houses, but um, right now, it's, you know, the market is a little yes. bit catching up. It was a crazy year with interest rates very, very low. Right. And, and now the No yeah. inventory, lines at open houses, houses selling for over asking. And now right. it's kind of, you know, settled down. Now it's kind of, I, it, it's a little more right. normal, but not not busy. But yeah. well, it will though. It's Hopefully. saying that Hopefully. the rates. Like I always say, listen. I've been in real estate also for oh, okay, thirty so. years, and I always say the market just it goes up really, really high, then it goes down, not down, but just stands still, mm -hmm. and then it goes up. But remember that housing market always, always goes up. No it's always way. cyclical. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, but right now, you know, still not much inventory. But with the rates as high as yeah. they are, I think people are waiting. Yeah, that's exactly so, it. They're waiting. Yeah. They're waiting. Yeah. So, so when you do when you do your pri 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 probiotic, pro probiotic probiotic yeah. training, you're talking to farmers all the time, right? Uh, no, actually, I'm talking to um, our distributors. Uh, they're the employees of our distributor in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, so I do a week weekly uh, sales training call called All In, and it is a private group for anybody that works for uh, the company that sells our products. And... Um, and we, we just we we train on everything from leadership, um, sales and selling skills, product technical data. Um, so you yeah. you switch the hat. Yeah. When you do that, you, your cowboy hat is on off. Yeah, because yeah. Because you're really doing and, sales uh, training. Right. Yep. Exactly. And then you put the hat on, and then you go back to doing the uh, doing honey the and stuff. the yeah. uh, maple yeah. and all that. That's unbelievable. What does this mean? Why, my why. This is what you have down. It says here, you say, why? Why? Yeah, why? so I'm a big believer. Um, 
I'm a big believer in that we're all here for a reason. And uh, so for me, what is, you know, why do I do what I do? And I, and, and uh, somebody asked me that question a long time ago. And um, just over the last couple of years, just dialing in, you know, what, what is the reason I'm here? What, what, why do I exist? You know, and, and so um, think of it like a personal mission statement. Mm -hmm. um, so my why is to, uh, to, to serve, to make people's laugh, uh, make people laugh. Um, to utilize my God-given and learned skills um, to challenge people's status quo and uh, and help others find their success. So That's when great. you say people's status quo, like like for me, like you would be challenging me how? Um, just to get to out make of her a better person. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, really, we uh, you know humans, we love to just kind of get in our comfort zone and and we put That's our blinders on, we yes. move forward, right. and you know what? Um, <laughs> Get out of your comfort zone. You know, yeah. try something new. You might be surprised of, of what's going to come out of it. Well, I, we both agree and, with that because yeah, we, sure. we came out when yeah. we started this. Exactly. And, yeah. and, well, uh, came out. Uh, <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> you came out. I didn't come out. Now I didn't even come out of it. Right. Oh, okay. Bring it back on yeah, the rail. Yeah, bring it back on that. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Thanks, Patrick. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just going to keep way. giving you a shout out, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Uh, I'm saying she uh, out of our yeah. comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. And not only that, you grow when you do that. You, you do. And, you and really it's a do. process, you're right? You know, so once you once you uh move out of your comfort zone, um you you naturally you you come into what we call the learning zone. Exactly. Right? You're learning new things, you're acquiring new skills, and so then you move into the growing zone. But if if you don't keep doing it, Yes, you've expanded your comfort zone, but now you got to add to the it. new the new spot you're in becomes your comfort zone, and then you need to out value, and value you need it. To keep moving forward, so and it's, that's it's how you very, added all these other products that you have now. Just um, you just don't have one product; you have a few. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, you just keep trying to think of new ways to, uh, uh, you know, bring a different uh, delivery mechanism, if you would, on, right. on how people can look at maple syrup and and uh, and view it as uh, really a. I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't want to say, I, I would say a, a, a healthier sugar source. <laughs> it's, I, I say that tongue in cheek right. because what, and what I mean by that is, is there's, there's no additives to it. There's nothing. It's, it's all natural. It's pure. It's natural. It comes from the ground. It comes right. from a tree. Um, there's you know, no added sugar at all. No, no, it's, uh, it's pure. So pure it's naturally sugar. that sweet really when it, when what, it, well, when it comes out it, of the tree, it looks right. like water. Okay, so okay. it's 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 a uh, sap is 97, 98 percent water naturally, okay. and two percent sugar. So uh, to put that into context, what that means is it takes about forty three gallons of maple sap out of right. a tree to make one gallon of maple syrup. Oh wow! So if you can picture a gallon milk jug next to a forty gallon barrel, jeez, it takes that much sap to make one gallon of syrup. Um, so when I say we've made like 2,300 gallons Jeez. of syrup, we've processed, oh, 70, 70,000 gallons of sap. Do you talk maple syrup when you're asleep? Because uh, it sounds like it's I, do. I don't think I talk in my sleep anymore. I, really? Yeah. You're past that, right? I, I think I passed that. We just sleep now. Because <laughs> okay. you're so tired. That's probably. it. But, uh, wow. yeah. Well, I think we have some um, guests here that want to try the uh, maple syrup. Well, I like turned Justin? around. I don't think there's anything left yet. Justin, <laughs> we're gonna have some guests try the maple syrup if we can focus in on them. So, uh, are you guys enjoying the uh, show today? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, look at him. He's look. unbelievable. Said, look, he's unbelievable. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, That's uh, it. Susan, I'll get you your fifty Susan? later. You see, there you go. Yeah. We need yeah, to give some yeah, to yeah. Justin. Okay. There you go. I appreciate that. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Thank you. There you go. Here's the fork. There you go. And the syrup's over there. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, maple syrup, and so we don't have a lot of bear in my area, but I there's I mean maple syrup is New York is the second largest syrup maple syrup producing yeah. state in the country, so we all know what's that? Vermont the first. Vermont's the first. So Vermont makes about 3.2 million gallons of syrup a year. New York State makes about 850,000 um, gallons of syrup. Um, there are producers in New York State that um, more in the southern tier probably, or eastern New York where there's uh, a lot of black bear, 
and they get in there and they start biting on those lines. Do that. Oh yeah, they're 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 terrible. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're. they're so sick. what do you do to stop? I mean, there's nothing to, to stop them from doing it anyway, right? Uh, or, or nothing really. Yeah, <laughs> nothing that we should probably talk about. Right, okay, okay, all right. okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I said, no, there's, let's not. There's, there's hunting seasons. The D.C. has hunting seasons for them, so, you know. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it. it. <laughs> That's what we got to say on that part. Now, do you do, because you just look like the type. Do you do hunting? Are you a hunter? I do hunt, yeah. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why. I just figured that just, out. Uh, I like hunting whitetail, you know, spending time outside. Um, You're an outdoorsman for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's great. What do you hunt? Anything uh, that moves? Whitetail deer. No. That's it, really? Okay. Yeah, I... I tried hunting turkey when I was younger, and I didn't really that care does, for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, not a big fisherman. I gotta, I see, I gotta tell you, I tried this deer stuff, whatever, years ago, and we went upstate. And of course, you have to wait for the season and so forth, yeah. but you just can't. And a friend of mine, it was really, really cold, and he has all these whatever, like these the little stands and yeah. thing, whatever. I mean, all over. Yeah. So I sat there. He said, "Bring my jacket, bring my gloves, whatever it is." So I'm sitting there like this, and and it's freezing. And when I say it's freezing, and I think we were out there already for four hours and nothing. I didn't see anything, whatever. So oh, you're talking four yeah. hours and you're in the cold and I was a little hungry. Yeah. So I, I had a couple of Snicker bars. <laughs> oh, you see, look, you're laughing already. I took out a Snicker bar went, and he looked at me like he was going to shoot me. <laughs> he goes, what are you doing? I said, what? I'm a little hungry. He goes, they can hear that. I'm like, but I can't see anything. He goes, it doesn't matter what you can see. They can hear. And, you know? Yeah. And yeah. I, I swear to you, we sat there for like seven hours. Nothing came by us. Yeah. You know? So they must have heard. You know what I mean? I'm like a, a rapper. I, I could barely even hear the rapper. And he goes, I swear to you, he looked at me like he wanted to take the rifle and shoot me. You know? Well, you have a treat today because one of our very famous Sinatra singers just walked in. Okay. Eddie What's Sessa. up, Eddie? How are you, Come on, Eddie? Dan, come say hello. Yeah, Eddie, how are you? Come on and say hi, all right? Sure, yeah. Switch yes. slats, okay? Yes. Yeah. I, know, I, had no one, I didn't know he was coming. So this surprise, is a treat. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, awesome. This is uh, Long Island's best Sinatra singer going. Sings everywhere. That's for sure. One, I'm a awesome. big fan of his. So yeah. is Greg. We all are a big fan. And he uh, sings. Come on, come on, have a seat, he buddy. Sings have for a seat. Us sometimes it shows, and we go see. How him you feeling, sing. Big Cheese? Awesome. In all, all right different right places. Yeah. Good, Eddie, good, good, good. Good to Scott. see Scott you, Eddie. Eddie, good, good to meet you. Yes, we have some show today. Good to see you, oh, honey. Yeah. yeah, this gentleman Sorry. drove five hours I, just to meet me. That's it. Just to look. Just I would, to be, I yeah. would drive ten hours. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would talk to him for ten minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to do that after. Do that yeah, after. Yeah, so do good to see you. Okay, do that we after. haven't seen you for a while, so I know. I we're know. happy good. to see you. How are you feeling? Good. Thank goodness. We're glad to hear me, that. Me and my stomp. Yeah, I was like, yeah, what, I, what happened? I mean, you okay? I mean, it's everything yeah, I gotta just out of nowhere? I gotta okay, to go through right. things. So. Yeah. I never yeah. realized how bad. That's the worst pain. Are. Yeah, look, look at your face. You're like, yeah, trust me. Did you ever have a stone? <laughs> yeah, there's no, a stone. I never did. Yeah, knock on wood. Let's just, had, no, we don't wish that on anybody. Exactly. My husband had three. You, you guys don't want it. Yeah. My husband had three. Yeah, friend, I watched A friend of mine told me that, yeah. He goes, it's the worst thing in the world. You could punch a wall when you have a stone. That's how strong the pain is. You punch could. the one you love. Well, you could do that too. This is true. <laughs> I better not. Hey, I better hey, not be standing Don't let me have a stone in your near me. No. By nice. accident, I say. No. <laughs> do you want to taste the little piece of the candy he made? It is unreal. You say what it tastes like because they make a fun about what I say. You make so, Yeah. He makes yes. everything to do with maple, everything. Maple Helen Ford sweets. giving you a big shout out. How are you, Helen? Hope all is well. Hope the family's nice and healthy. So nice to have an audience here to taste your things. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what Nobody's is Nobody's throwing anything back at me yet. No, so no. Well, that's, what that's, are the people in Watertown saying about you coming all the way to New York and doing this? Um, they're going to say you're crazy. Then I'm crazy, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. So you But then you can yeah. see that, though. Crazy is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, hey, uh, getting out of your comfort zone, right? So, crazy sells. Uh, I hadn't been to Long Island before. This is my first time in Long first Island. Time? Uh, visited Manhattan a couple times, but... Right. You know, did the touristy stuff, the Times Square, the whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so it was good, you know, get out, meet some new people. Um, you know, I, I think we, you know, my, my, my vision for, for Maplewood Suites is, is really just about spreading the word that, hey, there's, there's an affordable, pure, all-natural option. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I want to make a good product for people. And, 
Um, so maybe we'll find somebody down here to work with. I and, think we could help get a little bit. In the you never know. We'll yeah. do some kind Very of a good. big where, event. Where are you from? I live in Watertown, New York. Watertown. Um, so that's about an hour north of Syracuse. What's the touristy to, to go see out there? Um, would you say? If anybody came out there, what would they, besides your maple syrup besides process? Besides you and your great truck and Really products. what the area is known no, for right. is, is Lake Ontario okay. and then uh, the Thousand Islands. Um, so it's the St. Lawrence Seaway that runs from uh, the Atlantic Ocean to the Great oh, Lakes. Wow. And, um, so it's a nice trip. It's, and it's beautiful up there. I mean, you a thousand a islands, there's, there's way more than a thousand islands, but that's what it's called. It's in Alex Bay, New York, Alexandria Bay. Um, and it's just gorgeous country up there. Um, and there's a lot of activities on the lake. I mean, uh, uh, the rafting part, the yeah, or no, yeah. there is, right? Yeah, on, on the river there is. Uh, oh, I'd and be then we have, uh, we have rapids, uh, whitewater rapids. See, that's rapping what I love. On Black that's river. what I love. So Black River is one of the, I think, the largest river in New York State. Or carries the most Jeez. water of any river okay. in New York State, I and mean, there's there's a lot of a lot of stuff to do. Wow. That's um, great. Yeah, a lot of stuff to do. So but that means you haven't done it though. You look, you see, look, well, it's like a, look, a look it's like no, no. You know what? It's it's funny because um, I'm, I'm born in Harlem, and and then I went to Bushwick in Brooklyn and Queens, and I got to tell you something. I mean, I and I drove for a living when I had a limousine company for years, and I. Past Times Square, I passed the, the, yeah. the, the you know, uh, um, uh, Empire State Building, whatever it is. Uh, back then, Twin Towers, that's what we called it, you yeah. know. And, but never visited yeah. any of them, yeah. you know what I mean? And yeah, I remember, that, yeah, that the Statue of Liberty, I remember I went with my uh, my aunt, and you have to walk those stairs. I looked at my aunt, and I said, I'm not doing all those stairs. <laughs> she goes, get, let, I swear to you, she hit me, yeah, every about a good 20 steps, and then she gave up. <laughs> And then so she left me down there and she went all the way up. But um, yeah, so when it comes to visiting where things live, where right. you live. Yeah, you yeah, know, you, you, yeah I mean, you, you do that. We talk about that a lot. I mean, we've, we've done some stuff on the Thousand Islands. There's a historic castle up there called Bolt Castle. Bolt Castle. And and this, this guy named, I think it was, it's either Henry Bolt or George Bolt. I think it's George Bolt. Built this medieval castle for his wife and she passed away before it was finished. Oh. Um. It's so like the Taj, it's isn't it? Like the Taj, you built it for kind of thing. Really? And it's it's located on Hart Island in Alex Bay, and, and it's just huge to think of. I mean, it, it's, is it touristy? Is it something? Oh, yeah. oh it is. Yeah, it's open to, uh, open uh, for public. tourism during the summer, and you walk through the castle, and it's like going back in time. Um, That's uh, something different. I always want to know how the hell do they stay warm? Like when you watch all those medieval movies or whatever, or even with King George. I mean, I know you had the little the fireplaces. Yeah, but yeah. What about the other rooms that didn't have that? Fro- <laughs> it wasn't like they had they, insulated walls. Well, they might have done a lot yeah. of, you know oh, what? Anyway, no, we're talking. We have kids on there. This is a, oh, Lord. See? Yeah, have, yeah, drink some syrup. <laughs> I don't know. I don't oh, drink, remember. Yeah. Boy. Oh, but, uh, yeah, I was always kind of curious. How did they, uh, you know, keep a huge castle warm like that, you know? So. Uh, Wear lots of clothes, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That's so, Ed. So, how have you How been? are you, babe? You came at a good day. So what are you singing? What are you singing for us? Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite <laughs> Sinatra song? Uh, my Way. Probably yeah, My probably. Way. Yeah, my we way. all love yeah. My Way. Yeah. Mine's Everybody one of my, my favorites, way. too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a six-hour ride up there? <laughs> yeah. 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 He's, five, his five is half. four hours. It's five and a half. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. It's five and a half hours. A lot of bed and breakfast up there? Uh, quite a few, yeah. Those are nice to visit because yeah. it's real cozy. You have breakfast with everybody. You know, I got to tell you, I went yeah, to. I, like um, yeah. I was in uh, when I went to New years years ago. I went to one of them in uh, North Car- uh, North Carolina in uh, New Orleans. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be down there with my daughter for a jazz fest. Ooh, and nice. uh, I got to tell you, the bed and, the bread and bread bed and breakfast. It was really really nice. The only thing I didn't like was, I mean. Everybody came down. It was a really, really nice home. The people, they were great. But the people that, that you know, share, they're not always the greatest. Well, you mean and, as far yeah, as just, the, uh, just in people, their rooms. Just people. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not talking about that stuff. Well, the you thing see, is, look, it's not, yeah, you it's, can I'm hear saying, what goes on in each room. It was just, it, there was no, really, there was no privacy. And That's that kind of bothered right. me. Well, there I was it. exhausted. I was tired. I was out. I just wanted to lay down and, you know, Closing it. I'm just like in a house, like when the kids yeah. make noise. Yeah. Well, it was my luck that I had a 
you know, a family and they had like three kids and it was like, bam, bam. And that was the only thing I didn't like about it, but it was a yeah. beautiful home. Yeah. And, yes. And they yes. were very hospitable and, but it was like, but ah, Greg, there are nicer this. ones where you're not sharing that much. The only thing it is, so you're true. There is no privacy as far as noise. So you right. could be in a big bed and breakfast where it's very fancy. Well, listen, the thing had no, I got to tell you, the thing had six bedrooms. No, it had six bedrooms. It really did. It was a really, really big home. Mm. But it was just, like I said, going up the stairs now, if they're wooden steps, so you, some of the stairs Great kind joy. of creep. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm, I'm 250 pounds and I walk extremely a lot. I mean, you'll never even hear me. And then there are people that weigh 20 pounds soaking wet and they're like, boom, boom, mm. boom, boom. And I'm like, like my kids. I turn around and I'm like, why do you walk so heavy? You know, and my I, wife and I go up to Connecticut a lot to, to these bed and breakfast. They're and nice, aren't they? I nice. love them. Yeah. yeah usually, I, we never see more than maybe another couple. Right. See, know, that's good. A, and and we've met some real nice people. Right. But, you know, no, they, they were nice. Make breakfast for you in the yeah, morning. That, that I like. I, I like that. that. I, I really did. I like that. And the rooms are nice. You know, I mean, we've been lucky. They're we, cozy. Right. You know? yeah. yeah, I like them. Yeah. We have to go. We haven't gone lately. Yeah. No, it's really it's a nice. I'm staying at your house. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, okay, look, you can, you can tell he's really nice. Yeah. Look, look. He's like, come on, yeah. no problem. This guy, no matter what no you problem. ask him, he's going to say yes. He's so nice. <laughs> Gets me into trouble. Do you wear a sign that says, I always say yes? Uh, I think my wife believes that. Yes. Yeah, I have yeah. one of those too. Greg has one of those. Yes. And Eddie does yes, too. Yes, it's yes. the kind of people I never that say we no, are. That's the problem. You yeah. know, it's like everything happens for a reason and something's always positive happens. Yeah. So look at, I met you how? Yeah, stalking you, yeah. stalking you. You can say it. Just no, say it. No, I wasn't stalking him. She should have him. a sign. I am a stalker. No, but I wasn't say stalking him. By accident. No. I'm sorry. It's by How accident do she need? does that. I called you, right? Yeah, yeah, you called me. Yeah. That's it. I told you. <laughs> Didn't I just tell you? Okay. Stalk the poor man. <laughs> the man was out there with the barrels and the phone wouldn't stop. I'm trying to figure you know, out. you have to put it on. Do not disturb. I, I saw sure did. something about you That's on it. Facebook. Yeah, yeah I, I ran an ad campaign <laughs> right. uh, over over the area, and uh, so that then she saw me, and, and that was it. So you, you guys want the funny story? Yes, please. <laughs> so my partner Charlie, yeah, it's, it's in the maple business. We're uh, we were actually um, we had to do some construction, so we're picking up some lumber, and uh, and I'm on the phone with Valentina, and it's on Bluetooth, and and he's standing next to the truck, and he's like, and we get off the phone, he's like. Who the hell? Who, who the heck are you talking to? <laughs> and, uh, he said it in nice words. He said it in nice terms. You so know? That lady named Valentina. She sounds sounds nice. Uh, I might go down to Long Island and right. uh, go on go on the show. And he's like, "All right, you." Uh, I don't want anything to do with it. And you know what? The proof is Patrick was there when we spoke. <laughs> yeah, he oh had the whole God. conversation, yep. and Patrick looked at me and he goes, "Who's yeah. that?" Who he says that every farmer? day. He's a farmer. <laughs> he, he just shook his head. And look what happened. So you got old maple trees up there? <laughs> yeah, yeah we, a lot of them, yeah. So um, we tap um, uh, we tap about eight, maybe 9,000 trees of, sure. our, of our own that we So do you leave, as a matter of fact, when, you, when you're tapping it, do you leave it in the tree? So you just keep retapping the same holes? Or no, you just put different no, holes? we pull it out and let it heal up. Okay. Yep. So at, at the end of the season, so it's just past the bark part, just a little yeah, bit past yeah, the bark. Yeah, so you're right? going inch and a half into the tree. Okay. Yep. What is the season? Um, about mid February in my area till mid April. Um, that's the whole season. That's it. That's our production season. Yeah, that's that's a lot of work for that many trees. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah but, it's intense. Um, yeah, we have a heck of a team um, at Maplewood Suites. Uh, you know, we've we've all put in a lot of time with it, and uh, um, that's the name of your. Yeah, Ma there? Maplewood yeah. Suites. Yep. Yeah. Maplewood Suites. You have rooms there for. <laughs> right, I'm telling you, right? Yeah. The suites come. Oh, it's it does S W E E T. Yeah, but you might love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's there, a there we go. There we go. It's too early for you well, too, yeah, huh? I got a book for you. It just came to me because this is how I am. Oh, I was here we go. Wacky. B B means uh, you want bourbon barrels, right? You are requesting who has bourbon barrels. Yeah. You want them. Yeah. So do a thing about BBs. Do you know what a BB is? I need BBs. Do you know how many people are going to answer you? And then you I tell them. I want BBs. But then they're, they're not even going to know what the hell a BB is. He's going to get everybody cool them be with those little BBs. Be be no, no, no. It could be like. They're well, going to be like beautiful yeah. babes. Oh, that's what BB stands for. Well, I mean, I'm really. talking about these. Well, BBs. Well, Big boobs. Well, Look at yeah, this. Right. See? See, it's always coming back. All right. Again. Yeah. No, but Children, the please ignore no. her. Please. No, seriously. This man is looking for bourbon barrels. Where would we, who would we ask? Like 
Who uh, has bourbon I'm, barrels? I'm sure. I and I probably should check with some of the distilleries up in right, the area. Right, I say yeah. distilleries. Yeah. And you want bourbon barrels? Down in Tennessee area. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. We just came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yep. yeah. I'm just looking at something funny Kentucky. where it would yeah. Atta- yeah. attract attention. Yeah, yeah. and that's I thought not of, the attention that well, you really want. Well, some people call BB's big boobs. I understand. Who's that? But so. Yep. So can you see what his I'm, wife can imagine? Can be what kind of pictures he's going to get from these? Yeah, okay. Well, let's let's <laughs> don't ignore that. Delete that I'm part. Just kidding. Yeah, but, uh, she's, get, she's getting. Get, he's going to get some barrels, all right. All right he's definitely going to get some yeah, barrels. Double barrels. Hey. Yeah. You yeah. never know. You never know what you could get with a woman, uh, uh, not uh, me, but another woman. Okay, but he's food. married. Does he need that? Well, it's, it's no, I don't. Business. Thank you. You no. see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. If it would bring in a Have lot of some business. more syrup. <laughs> and his wife's watching the show. I know. She's really. a God doll. Bless you. Yeah. I talked to his wife. Yeah. She knows there me already. We We're family already. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, seriously. Anything we can do to help you with the bourbon barrels. Yeah, that'd yeah. be kind of Send fun. me something. I'll make a pretty picture of her. Therese will do what she's... You can yeah. see how good she is. Give me a big shout out. Zach Thompson. Stephanie Jeffrey Carlino. Hey, Zach. Get back to work. Yeah, right. Zach, Zach, Phil you called. Phil, you right? called a minute ago, and I had to just like delete your call a minute ago. Not yeah. delete, but and then Connie, Aaron, how are you? My Give sister, shot. That's it. Pennsylvania. How are you, Connie? Huh? Pennsylvania in the house. Yeah. So, uh, oh my God. What a show, really. Yeah, no, what a show. Great. You guys are terrific. <laughs> Look, we try to make it funny. Yeah, okay. We're serious, yeah, but you know. We have to, yeah. you have to have fun. That's it. Well, That's I can tell. Right. You're a fun person. So you don't have another venture oh, yeah. to do with this? Is I'm there, sure he does. Is there a, it's, Hold on. I mean, is like I'm asking it you, do you have another venture? Don't answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like anything else with syrup that you could possibly make or that you're thinking of? Or? Don't answer. <laughs> so, okay. So what uh, kind of my vision for Beyond Maple. So right. we have, right now we have the, the pure maple syrup, the pure maple cream, the pure maple candies. Um, like the sticks? Like the sticks? They have no, the, the, the little just the, okay, these yeah, right the here, okay. candies like this. And then granulated maple sugar. Right, okay. so we could do those four products, but one of the things that I'm working on is uh, is so we have all this all this sap, right? And I mentioned the sap out of the tree is like 98% water. So with the with the process called reverse osmosis, um, I'm actually removing about 60% of the water before I boil it. So it it really cuts down on our fuel consumption. I I've, I've reduced my fuel consumption by almost 90%. 85 percent with wow. with using so if you look on any bottle of water you're going to find in the store it's going to say <clears> purified <throat> with reverse osmosis um so when i make 2300 gallons of syrup i probably have i probably have uh 40 or forty five thousand gallons of water wow that's great so i'm working uh i'm working with the cornell food venture lab um up in uh, geneva new york I'm going to get them some water samples, uh, yeah, some more water great. samples this week and see if we can start, um, you know, doing something with the water side of it. Um, you know, locally, uh, there's there's people in the community that uh, in, in the township I live in, um, you know, there's no village water. Everybody has a, a drilled well or a dug well, and, and we have a lot of sulfur water. We even have some salt water on the ground. And uh, I have neighbors that haul water from... December, January, sometimes. I mean, all, all summer long. Um, so, I mean, we make a lot of water. Uh, I don't have a drilled well on my property okay. where my boiling facility is. It sounds dumb to say, but we literally make all of our own water. We, the tree sucks it out of the ground. We take it from the tree. We pull the water back out. We use it for cleaning, disinfecting, all that kind really? of stuff. And then uh, um, refill in my water bottle and so you don't waste yeah. anything, really. Yes. That's great. No, no, we try not to. And uh, and you know we, you know, as, as farmers, we, if you're not taking care of the the ground, it's not going to take care of you. So right. you know, utilizing what you get from from the soil and uh, giving back to it as well, and it, it it works good that way. Now you don't fertilize the trees or anything. You just let it naturally just do its thing. Yeah, I mean, just uh, the only thing that so like this year we'll do we'll start doing some soil sampling. We maybe need some uh, maybe maybe some crushed limestone on the on the property to, to help with the pH in the soil, uh, and a lot of that is probably more to do with acid rainfall than anything. Um, but that's the one thing you probably would do in a in a woodlot to help management is uh, <clears throat> is just uh, you know throwing some lime in there for for soil help. That's great. Amazing, that's great. really amazing. This, well, this this is for you to take home. These are my patches from my book. Okay, these are patches. Freedom. 
I like well, they're old-fashioned. They like I know, I like that. I like that. Put a patch. These are right for there. your... This okay. is for your truck. Okay. Put these on the sticker. barrels. Okay. Put and those on these, your barrels. There's a book for you and your wife, my, my homemade books that I wrote. Thank you. And, um, you know, we are so happy you came. Yeah, I want to uh, thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. We're going to do a lot of photos. We want photos of that gorgeous truck. I definitely like it. Like Brooke would say, it needs, we need daddy. We need to go to the, the car wash. We, we have to. Oh, no, the, <laughs> the truck. I love the color of the truck. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you again and wish you all the best. Say hi to everybody. Say, yeah. Hi, everybody. Right. Um, Big shout Greg out to Valentino. Thanks very much. Uh, this is great. Big shout out to my team at Maplewood Suites. And uh, uh, first and foremost, my wife, she's, she's, she's my rock. Um, and Brooke and Cooper, I'll see you guys soon. And, um, you know, hey, I'd, I'd love the opportunity to uh, to put some syrup on your table. So maplewoodsweets.com, we ship anywhere in the U.S. And if you're watching locally and you have a restaurant, a store, and you want to stock some pure maple products, um, maplewoodsweets.com, my phone number, call me, email me. I have products in the truck today. My phone number is 315-222-6796. And... Um, yeah, we'll get back to you. Well, what I'd like to do, I'm going to transfer this whole video to the Long Island Restaurant Association. There you go. Yeah, and perfect. you just you should probably yeah. visit them once or twice because right. they're great. Another another five hour ride. Yeah, well, why not? Like why not? Why not? Why not? Another five hour. Ride? Yeah. Well, you, you got, got enough. You got enough sugar year. right here to keep you up for the this ride. Is simply right. pure magic maple. Yeah. Guys. You need, you need a promotion? There you go. There we go. Simply pure Eddie, magic maple. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yes, Eddie. So glad right. to have okay, you. Mike. Are you going to be uh, performing anytime soon yet or not yet? Yeah, no, I've been. Uh, you've been. You've been. I've been working with painkillers. So. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> they work wonders. They work wonders, I bet. Huh? <laughs> you're singing songs you never you thought you could ever sing, right? <laughs> really? But, uh, you've done thank a you so much, guys. Job. Thank you, for everybody, for watching the show. We want to thank our sponsors. Oro Puro, Maple Sweets, first of all. Sorry, we have to thank you very much. Appreciate and definitely, it. everyone should have a bottle. Maplewood you, Sweets. You definitely should have this on your table. Oh, I love it. And Ice in your cream, pocket. Coffee. Or in your, oh, Ice look, look, cream, see? that's yeah. right. Yeah. Bread. I didn't think about Van- oh, ice bread. Cream put some maple syrup in the microwave, heat it up, put it on vanilla ice cream. Your tongue will oh, be that I'll do. I'm ice cream, to ice cream and, and cookies. I'm and gonna, these, I'm not, leave in I'm the gonna, car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just That's buy it. these little They'll, they'll melt in the summertime if you leave them in the car. In the and we're going to have all the prices up, you know, on our um, on my That's website. Awesome. awesome. And you're going to be joining our um, monthly publication. Yeah. And just yeah. like when you show us. Eddie your, all your events, we're going to add him because yes. he's a special guy. So, everybody, anyway, thanking Oro Puro also for all your jewelry needs. Teddy, we love you. We'll see you soon. At 1033 Hempstead Turnpike in Franklin Square and a Prince of Tides, Jackson Hewitt. Prince, I know I'm going to see you really soon. Tax guy. All right, tax guy. So don't forget, your taxes have to, you know, get done before, I think it's uh, April 15th, I think. April 15th, yeah. So, uh, or if they extend it, who knows. But summer's there. Look at the way that summer's there. Is there? Yeah, that's my wife. Yeah. (laughs) Summer. Hello. And now you come on. Now I see you. Now, oh. listen. He loves you. Don't listen to one word that she said. I'm just all friendly. Right? Please, That's all. okay. But anyway, we want to thank everybody. Thank you guys for being guests on the show. Thank you to the audience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's and, a well. It's oh, not yet because Eddie was going to say something. What were you oh, well, gonna I was going to say I've, I've been watching that Yellowstone series. You know, with Kevin yeah. Cox. Really? Is it good? Watch it. Is it oh, good? Yeah. So is your Great. is, is your, it really? Is your ranch like theirs out there? No, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Summer, I got to ask you, is this like uh, the relationship, like the, uh, there's some show now, I think it's called Farmer's Wife? Yeah. Did you see it? It's a new, no, no it. listen, yeah. it's some new thing, and I just happened to just watch a bit of it, but uh, it, it, it it's different. Okay. I'm not a farmer, but yeah. but uh seems like it's a, it's a hit, so. Uh, so, since anyway. he's talking to Summer, Summer, do you like Italian food? Oh, if, yes. I, okay. Gotta love Italian so, food. So, come down next time with him. And I'll make you some Italian food. She she really wanted to this time. And, really? And Brooke, Brooke was a little under the weather. Next time. Uh, we, yeah. So but we're, we'd love we're to have you. And we'll put, Greg will put the music on for you. You have a That's dance it. floor. You yeah. guys we'll have, have a, a Bring board. the kids. Yeah. Bring everybody. And so anyway, guys, everybody share this, please. Like it, share it. And don't and forget, Thursday is Easter. That's it, Easter. Party here. We have That's our it. Easter show. Lots of fun. Mm. Lots of goodies. Lots of great people. And Anita Starlight will be singing. Wow. On our that's right, show. that's right. And Terrific. That's and it's a wrap. All right.